When it comes to importing posts in bulk, the best way to do it is by using our CSV importing tool. Before we get into how to use this tool, let's go through the format of the file first. CSV stands for Comma Separated Value, and it's a file that can be used in programs like Microsoft Excel or Google Spreadsheets. CSV files can have several columns depending on the app that you're using it on. In Social B, CSV files need to have the following columns. Text, link, image URL, GIF URL, and video URL. Let's break them down. The text column is where you add the caption to your post. The link column is where you add the link you want to use if you wanted to generate a link preview. The image, GIF, and video columns all require you to use a link of a media file you want to add. The media file must be stored online publicly, so Google Drive or Dropbox links won't work with this method. You also need to make sure the link is that of the actual file and not a page, so it usually ends in the file's format. JPEG or PNG for images, GIF, for GIFs, and MP4 for video. Once you have the file, you can go ahead and fill in your posts in the spreadsheet, keeping in mind that you only need to fill two columns per row. You also need to make sure you don't delete any of the columns, as that will cause the import to fail. Here are some examples of posts that you can import through a CSV file. A post with a caption and a link preview, a post with a caption and an image, or a post with a caption that includes a link and an image aside, a post with a caption and a GIF, or a post with a caption and a video. If you're using Google Spreadsheets, make sure to download your file as a CSV file before importing it into Social B. You can download a sample file from Social B by going to the content menu and going down to the Import CSV tab. Above the settings, you'll be able to also download the sample. To import your posts, start by selecting the profile you want them assigned to. Then select the category you want to include them into. Next, either choose the file or drag and drop it from your existing folder. Like with RSS feeds, you can also choose whether the posts get imported as approved or not approved. You can also choose whether your post expires after it's been published a number of times or after a specific time period. When you're ready to start the process, click on the Import button and the posts will start populating the category you selected. This import may take a few minutes, so be mindful of that. Once complete, you may receive a notification via email to let you know if the import ran successfully or if we've had issues importing your file. The email notification only gets sent if you have it enabled from your settings, to check that, go to your main menu and click on Settings. From here, scroll down to Notifications and make sure Email me when the import is complete is active. If you're experiencing issues with the CSV importing tool or any other feature in Social Bee, feel free to email us at hello at socialbee.io.